Huh, I lost track of time again. But I got everything ready ahead of schedule. Welcome, everyone. It's a nice Sunday evening that we're having. I've got some wonderful news to share today. Then we'll pass out some pies. The city-state of San Juan and our city of Portia have agreed to build a road through the Ufala Desert between our cities. This will cut travel time by more than half. Now this is a good business opportunity. Question, my dear. The governments of both cities will fund this road together. During my time in office, we built up sufficient reserves, so the funding isn't a problem. This is part of a grand plan that I've been building over the past year to make Portia a center for commerce and travel in the free cities. Allow me to introduce Mint. He's an engineer from Vega 5. Hello. He'll be spearheading the building of the road. The builders in Portia and Sand Rock will help bring this to fruition. We'll have a meeting tomorrow to discuss other news. Gust has submitted a proposal for a hot air pump around the duck pond. Folks have been requesting this for a long time, and it's finally on my desk. I'll be securing the funding for it as soon as I can, as if that's all for tonight, folks. Come up and get your pies. Here to see a grand so There you are. Now that everyone is here, let's get down to business. First, I need to emphasize just how important this is to Portia. Once we have connected Portia to Sandrock with this new road, we will become the de facto transportation hub between Vega 5, Sandrock... This here is Mint. <laughs> I've known him since he was a pup. He's one of the best engineers around and will be leading this... Hey everyone, let me give you an outline of our objectives for the Portia part of the project. Broadly speaking, there are two phases to this project. In phase one, we'll start the road from Sandrock as the terrain there is easier for construction. During that time, we need the builders here to complete the bridge across the Porsche River, which will connect us to the desert. When that is complete, we will move on to Phase 2, where we will construct a rest stop along the southern bank of the Porsche River. We're going to call this new town South Block. Not too original, I know, but it'll be a place where all the travelers can rest and enjoy the... We're working with Albert of A&G Construction to build the bridge and South Block. I'll be leaving for Sandrock in a couple of days. Then Albert will be in charge of the plans here. right -o. I've pretty much worked with everyone in this room before, so I reckon this will be as smooth as a water troll's butt. As for the builders, I'll be posting the bridge commissions in the Commerce Guild. Why don't you just give me all the commissions? I can- I keep on telling you, mate, there's more to life than just work. And that would be against guild rules anyway. <laughs> I am so looking forward to this. It's way too hot today. I just want to sit in front of a fan. Or jump in a vat of ice. Drowsy. Hey, sorry to bother you so early. We're having an issue with the Ufala Tunnel. Could you please come by and take a look? What kind of issue? We're not sure. There's been multiple mini quakes since we started drilling. I've halted the excavation for now. The Civil Corps are also checking it out. But I want a builder's opinion. Whoa, hold it right there. I can't let you in. Arlo and Sam are in there checking to see what's causing the earthquakes. Mint wanted me to take a look as well. Uh-uh. No can do. Arlo's orders. Until they can figure out the mini-quakes, no one... Slow down. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Arlo! Sam! Can anyone hear me? 
hollow. Oh, thank the heavens. You had me work. You mean the one linking up the old mine? What was that? Sam? Sam, come on. We gotta hurry. Just in time. Come on, we need to handle this thing. <laughs> this must be the thing causing the trembles. What was that thing? I think it must have been awakened by our drilling. An AI machine lying dormant from the past. Like something you find in the peripheries. Look at all these marks it made on the ceiling. That must have been the source of the quakes. Looks like we got here in the nick of time. You have no idea. I thought we were going to be crushed. All thanks to the Builder. We had to get through a lot of feelings to get to this point. How did you end up here anyway? That door. We're out. Come on, the mayor must still be worried. Mayor Gale! Ah! How did you get out? How did you get out? Long story, but we're safe. We also solved the earthquake problem. It was caused by... So that's what's causing the quakes. I can't believe there are still such dangerous things lurking about down there. I must write to Atara right away and have them send someone... What about the tunnel? Can it still be salvaged? I think so. I'll do an assessment, then get back to you. Well, I'm glad everyone's all right. That's the important thing. And thank you for helping out. Gust has to be nuts. Wearing a suit in this weather? Oh, don't tell... I was just discussing some design issues with Petra. The mayor wants to see you. He says it's urgent. Does he? But I still have things to do here. But if Mr. Gale asked... Oh, Peach. He wanted us to discuss a pressing matter with him at the round table tonight. I totally forgot. Come on, let's go. I'm sort of in the mood to eat fish. So 
that's what this was about, but I do feel a lot better. Thank you, Mr. Gale. I guess there's more to life than just work. you got this built. You must have used some dark magic, eh? <laughs> You're one heck of a builder. I've been to Sandrock a few times. Don't remember much other than it being... Oh, there you are. What did you want to do first? This is a great place for napping. Let's sit for a bit. I'm always traveling because of my work, but I really want to have a small place of my own to call home. A place to rest when I am tired. Not really. The researchers of Vega-5 certainly aren't eligible, but their work is often top secret. I'm just an engineer, so they don't show me anything unless it is somehow related to my job. Really? A lot of people say that for some reason. Let me think. I love to eat fish and some high protein food. Not always. It really depends on projects. Sometimes I'm very busy, and then other times I can just take a nap whenever I like. Oh hey, do you have time? I need your help with something. It's... oh, this is going to kind of sound odd. Please don't judge. Mr. Gale has been kind to me all this time. But lately, I've been getting the impression that Gus doesn't take well to that.
It's like, you know how Higgins got on you for being close to Mr. Presley? Like that. Oh. Yeah. But I don't want it to be like that. I'd like it if we could all get along. I've asked Mr. Gale about it before, but he wants me to get to know Gus myself. And outside of work, Gus doesn't really talk with me, though. I'm just not good at this. Oh? Huh? Really? Thank you. Maybe find out what he likes. Hey. I found out that Gus likes umbrellas, architectural books, and the bacon fish roll. Right. Good timing. I don't know how, but apparently Gus caught into what we're doing. And he got really mad at me. I thought it was because we were asking around about him. But then he told me to stop trying to barge in on his family. I tried to ask him what he meant by that, but he's been ignoring me ever since. No, I've asked you for enough. I don't want to hurt your relationship with him. What if you gave him his favorite thing as a peace offering? A peace offering? I mean, I guess that could work. What should we prepare? An umbrella, huh? That'd be easy for a builder like you to make, right? Let me put in a commission. This is exactly what I need. I need to figure out how to get this to Gus tomorrow. I'll let you know how it goes later. Thank you so much. Please accept this. I'm not good at this, so I hope you like it. You and Mint were asking about my likes, right? I heard all about it. Then a mysterious gift with a note lands on my desk. Oh, I don't even need to guess to know it's from Mint. Only he's so devious. It's all because he wants to have a good relation with my father. Or else why would he need to get on my good side? Really now? I up chickening out on actually giving it to him. I just left a note at the gift on his desk. I'm kind of embarrassed. But he didn't throw it. I hope Gus doesn't dislike me too much. I really look up to Mr. Gale. So I hope his family can accept me. Talking to you is like waking up after a good sleep. I always feel refreshed after. Good morning. Me again. I have been meaning to talk to you. I promise that there will be no misadventures this time around. Albert has asked me to hook up South Block to Porsche's power grid, but it turns out that the grid can't support South Block without shorting all the fuses. Means? That means we're going to have to find another way to generate electricity for the new town. The mayor suggested we add another power station over there, but that'll really stretch Porsche's power stone supplies. After some consideration, I think we should try wind power. The strong winds coming in from the sea should be able to sustain several generators in the Ufala Heights area. I know they use a lot of these in high wind, but it's not like we have the budget to import any. Do you think you can build a few for us? All right, that's all I'm asking for. You'll need to talk to the research center about it, since I don't have a diagram for this. I'd never seen such a range of autumn colors until I got here. Vega 5 hardly has any plants by comparison. I've known Mr. Gale since I was young. I'm glad he's doing better than he was back then. Huh? For me? Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, oh, wow! Look at the weather! It sure is, uh, nice weather today. Nice, yeah, uh... Are you okay? No, I mean, yes. I mean, look at the time. I gotta run. Bye. They have. Why? Is that why he's acting weirdly? What should I do?
Gail told me that you'd collapsed on the street from an illness. I... I can use this opportunity to ask Min some tough questions. Anything you'd like to ask? When I heard from Mr. Gale, I was so worried. I ran here as fast as I could. Now my head's dizzy from overexertion. Actually, ever since you gave me that knot, that moment keeps recurring in my mind. I also think about all those times we spent together. I... my heart is beating very fast right now. But I'm not sure if it's because I just ran here. Wait, why are you making me admit this sappy stuff? Because you ran away earlier. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to hurt you. I kind of knew what the heart knot meant, so I got all nervous. That was really childish of me. I'm sorry. I want to accept your feelings. I really do. But I've never done anything like this before. I'm afraid I'll mess up and lose one of the people most precious to me. Look, I'm stumbling even now. Are you sure you'd be okay with a guy like me? Thank you. I'll treasure our feelings. Are you okay? I'm not hurting anywhere. Mr. Gale? Ah, oh, well, as long as you're okay. I was worried. I'll never run away again, I promise. I grew up in Vega 5. I didn't like it. Life there is too serious. Everything needs to be done to order. It made me feel very tired, you know? I went to several places in the free cities for various projects. I was most impressed with Walnut Grove. There were lots of handy crafts there. It was I rarely receive any gifts, so I've never thought about it. I guess I like basketball and sports stuff. Darling. I want to be someone you can rely on. I don't want you to regret choosing me. I have to talk with Mayor Gale since it's a very serious issue.
We've got power. Gail will be happy to hear. find another person like you. It really was fortunate that we crossed paths here.
fun than I expected. But I never feel like I spend enough time with you. Is that selfish? thinking of you when I'm working. It feels like you're always by my side. gonna stand there gaping. Oh, come on. I know I've aged a bit, but you don't recognize your own pa? Pa? How long is it? First ten years? Eleven. What are you doing here? What? I can't just come visit you? You normally don't. Don't be so cold. I just came back from the expedition to the Eastern Reaches. Well, I'm actually doing well enough. Partly thanks to the workshop you gave me. I even got married. No, it was all you. I just thought you should. I knew you would be someone great once you find Ah, will you be staying at my house? Don't worry about it. I suppose you could see it like that. I'm sorry. Anyway, I've wasted enough of your time. I'll see you later, sir. It's very nice to meet you. 